Okeechobee County is getting some big recognition on the national stage with one of its own, Evan Neal, being drafted into the NFL last night. Megan McRoberts caught up with some of his former coaches and mentors who are elated to have played a part in sparking his love for the game. Evan Neal letting the world know where his roots are planted. Seen here in Las Vegas flashing a blazer with images of Lake Okeechobee. And back home, signs around town are celebrating their hometown hero. Let them know that, yeah, I'm from Okeechobee, yeah. small country town, but guess what? We play football. Demetra Ryle started coaching Neal in middle school. They don't build him like that. Neal, always a standout, he says, first because of his size. And he's now six foot seven, about 350 pounds. But he, he can move. At Okeechobee High School, Ryle said Neal was also unstoppable. <laughs> he really hates to lose. The school district bragging about their alumnus. He was the first freshman. I ever had on bars. Neil went on to grab the attention of the Crimson Tide and play defensive tackle under coach Nick Saban's football dynasty. We knew he was going somewhere. His performance at Alabama making him a top 10 draft pick for the New York Giants, also celebrating on their Facebook saying big guy Neil. But it all started out here and these coaches saw the work that led up to the draft celebration. It's like watching somebody dream come true. And then as a coach, like that's what you want. You want to be able to mentor somebody or be a part of them and see them elevate. But they do say Neil had NFL destiny in his genes. I went to school with um, Frank and Neil, um, who played wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Um, his daddy, Eddie, um, went to Tulane College. Jimmy Gary. Another uncle has two Super Bowl rings. Think he's the best in his family? Ah, that's hard to say now. <laughs> the jury's still out. That might just be Neil's end goal. As he takes his next big career move back home, he's building a legacy. And then the kids that you, you've been preaching to, like, that's the end product. That's, that's the way I want you to be. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.